Best of r slash tales from retail episode 118. Subscribe for reddit videos daily. I work with my great friend, a local farmer, at a number of farmers markets. I've been doing this for almost 16 years. I love my job and have made some great friends with regular customers. With the current pandemic situation, two things have happened. Firstly, we've had to change how we set the stand up and sell to customers. It's a lot more work, as we have to select and bag the goodies that people would normally pick themselves. Wearing masks and gloves makes things a little tougher, but our regulars appreciate the extra effort and let us know. Secondly, the situation has polarized people. Most people are patient and understanding, and a very few either don't get it or don't care we've had to sack a couple of people and chastise a few. Actually there is a third thing. We're much, much busier than usual, for whatever reason. People either appreciate being out in the open or are reluctant to shop in grocery stores. In any case, we were rushed off our feet today, with two people serving customers and one taking cash, both teams working hand over fist to keep people moving. A steady line of people needing change is hard because we like to shoot the breeze with the customers, and right now that's not possible for the most part. In any case, having gently shooed off one chatty regular, so I could serve the next gentleman, the following conversation took place. Me, you have a large bag of salad mix, $10 if you would. Gent, handing me a $100 bill do some kindness with this. Me, oh no, that's a hundred, I must give you change. Gent, no, I want you to give some food to those who need it. Me, but it's a hundred. Gent. I'm sure you'll find a way to use it. Me. Well, we do that anyway. We donate a lot of food to good causes. Which we do. We often have a surplus at the end of a market. And if we think it would spoil before we sell it. Or there's a lot of a product we donate it to food banks. Gent. Well I want you to use this. I'm sure you'll find a way. Me. Is speechless for a moment. Which is quite rare. This is a $90 donation. Finally I thank him profusely. Wishing I could give him a huge hug. He walked off without saying another word. I had tears in my eyes as I explained to the farmer what had just happened. He and I discussed how to manage it. And we decided that it will cover some debt forgiveness and some discounts to people we know are financially embarrassed at the moment. I'm misty eyed as I type this. So please forgive any errors of typing or formatting. We've had a few people pay for others produce if they only have credit cards. We only take cash. And we've been generous with a few who are in need, but this is a stand-up example of how to truly care for others during this crisis. And I know that there are other stories of generosity out there. To all of you out there in retail service land, I say a big thank you, and keep holding it together. May your nitwits customers be few and your kind ones many. Thank you. Next. This was a bit over a year ago. I've never posted here but felt like this would be good for this subreddit. I had been working cashier for quite some time and I was the head cashier at the time of the men's department. It was a weekday so we only had two people working in the men's department at the time and it could get quite busy. Management never quite understood that there should be more people. That's another story though. We were quite busy and my co-worker I'll say his name was Dave was working the register at the time and had a line forming and I was currently working with a man in suits trying to help him find the right size and I couldn't. So I looked through inventory to stores near us and I found one in the other side of town. Calling other stores to have them find something and hold it was always a hassle. Sometimes they just would never answer. As I was calling the other store I was standing at my computer on the phone waiting for maybe 10 minutes now and I really wanted to help this guy out because he had a funeral to go to the next day and I see a long line forming. All of a sudden I hear a guy screaming in line and he's complaining and I think no big deal he's just grumpy. Wrong, he's about the fourth person in line and my co-worker Dave is working with his customer signing her up for a store card and that can be pretty lengthy, we're doing our best and this customer yells, why can't you two in the back help us out over here for Christ's sakes, I let him know that I'm on the phone with the other store trying to get something held and then he says, what about the other guy tell him to get off his fucking phone and do some work. I have no idea who he is talking about and I ask who and he points at my customer standing right across from me. At this point I have no idea what to say and my customer yells at this man saying, I don't work here I am trying to get my suit, so shut up, he's doing his best. 
The guy in line abruptly drops all his things and leaves. I thank my customer and I give him a 15% discount on everything he purchased with me. Sometimes it pays to be nice. TLDR. Guy is buying a suit. Line gets long. I call other store to find it for him. Other guy in line is frustrated for waiting yells at us employees and a customer who he thinks works there that is just waiting for me to find his suit. Thank you. Next. So my university's ice center isn't opening up until this fall. It's my normal job. So to compensate I got a new job. It's at a three word farm store. Of primarily green. Here in Ohio. I worked at the location near my hometown. Two. Five hours away. For one. Five years. But this one is 30 minutes from my college. And like 10 from BF. I love the company and I needed no training. So I just got set loose on register. Two stories today that made me laugh. A customer called asking about a replacement bar for his chainsaw. As I'm finishing up the call, a man in his 30s slash 40s walked up with a lawnmower blade. I said, I'll be with you in like 10 seconds. Just let me finish with this customer on the phone. Roughly 10 seconds go by and I hang up, turn and see this man throwing the blade onto my counter. Storm out the door to his truck and peel out of the parking lot. My store location. Even though it is the biggest in Ohio, only has 7 staff including me and the 4 others there at the time were swamped. 2. An elderly gentleman and his wife came up with some plants. They handed me a tag for some evergreen trees. Now, we're running a sale where flowering bushes and evergreens that are number 1 pots are buy 1, get 1 half off. These trees were number 5 pots. I explain this to the them and he seems upset. He tells me they were by the sign. I apologized. Saying someone must have moved it because my co-worker had literally just gotten finished arranging them by on sale number 30 minutes prior. He rips the hanging baskets out of the cart. Do you want those sir? I inquire. Like an enraged bull he yells no. I don't want a goddamn thing. I explain those are indeed on sale. His wife tells him to wait and he storms outside to put them up. Wife, a lovely woman, asks me to please scan the flowers in her basket. I have a team leader come up to do the buy one get half off sale, as it was letting me apply the same but not enter it. Husband comes back and the wife asks, did you want that potting soil honey? Number, I don't want a godman thing. We're leaving and never buying from here again. Wife tells him she's buying her flowers. He goes to say something and she yelled I'm buying my flowers Tom. Shut the fuck up. She buys her flowers as Tom grumbles. I tell them to have a lovely day and enjoy her flowers. She thanks me and calls me sweetheart. Tom is still mumbling fuck this place as they walk out. I love this particular farm store as the company is amazing and managers are great. It has this effect of bringing out both the nicest people ever and causing some people to act like fools over the tiniest things. And I love being able to sit there, a calm rational adult of 20, while a 40 year old man throws a temper tantrum over the fact that we won't give him a discount on a $300 canopy with no damage. Thank you. Next. Hello everyone this is my first post here. I am an optician and work for a very big company with many stores. I actually like my job, but sometimes I suffer too. Right now I am on maternity leave and bored, so here goes my story. A while back I had a customer who wanted a B. A famous brand worldwide, sunglasses with prescription mirror lenses. No problem so far. His prescription was also known so I toughed this would not take up too much time. He quickly found a model he liked and we started talking about the lenses. He said I should make him a good offer. I showed him the different mirror colors for the lenses, some regular ones and the high-end lenses with a lot of cool colors. He liked one of the high-end colors but they were too pricey. He immediately went into a fit that he found R. B. Frames with mirror lenses online for a much cheaper price. I have to mention at this point that we have a policy that we give a discount if a customer finds the same product cheaper somewhere, so we always have an option to make the better offer. This will be important throughout the following conversation. I said, alright, maybe you can show me the home page on your phone? I'll see what I can do for you. Customer, X home page was cheaper. Just don't bother and make it a good price offer. I always buy here. Me. I need to see it so I can see how much discount I can give you and if it's the same model and lenses. Well, 
He actually begrudgingly took his phone out and started googling and showed me some tinted lenses on said homepage. Me, well those have no mirror though. Customer, so what? It's cheaper. Me, I am very sorry but I need an offer for the same product. Customer, I am getting angry. Just make a good offer. Me, well, if you want to spend less, the regular lenses are X amount but there are less colors for the mirror. Customer, okay just make me a good offer. Me, okay the R, B, frame with those lenses will be a total of XXX. Customer, what? That's too much. Me, the R, B, frame is XX and the lenses are XX. That's a total of XXX. Customer, but R, B, sunglasses are cheaper online and they have mirror lenses. Let's be honest, I knew from the start that he wasn't willing to pay for anything but I tried to keep my cool. I don't particularly like our policy but I would do what's necessary, but at least he had to do proper research to get the discount. Me. Okay so me the website where you found this frame cheaper. He groaned in annoyance but got his phone out again and soon showed me a google search with R. B. Frames. Customer. Here it's XXX amount here. Me. Sorry but that's a different frame. It has to be the same. Customer. But it is R. B. C. It's cheaper here. It also has mirror lenses too. Me. Yeah but all the different frames have different prices. It has to me the same frame. Also, the lenses included in the frame are without prescription. Customer. Okay now I am pissed. Where is your manager? I want to talk to him. You don't know what you are doing and it is doesn't matter what frame I found it cheaper. At this point he was almost screaming but I wasn't budging. I just started smiling. Our second manager, not a guy but a female, he actually seemed like he was kind of misogynist too by the way he talked to me, was standing at the register and as she had nothing to do had seen the whole conversation. Me, she is standing right there, you can talk to her but she will tell you the same. His jaw dropped as I pointed to her and my manager, who I get along with extremely well by the way, came over and told him the same thing. I didn't think he would give up so easily but cursing to himself he finally looked for the right frame and I recalculated his total. He was staring daggers at me the whole time. He didn't talk to me while I put his order in my tablet and printed a receipt so he could pick up his sunglasses in a few days. I don't even remember if he said goodbye. Probably not. My manager was just shaking her head and I sighed in relief when he finally went on his way. Thank you. Next. This happened very recently, last week, and was a complete blunder on my part. I work in a bakery, but we're mostly just a donut and cake shop. I've been doing curbside orders for a while, and sometimes it gets very hectic out in the parking lot, where it can get difficult to keep up with whoever's next in line. We have had a mix of different attitudes and reactions from people since doing curbside, and some days are better or worse than others. Some days, you really want to punch people for how awful or impatient some can be. Thankfully, this story has nothing to do with that. Anyway, one of our regulars came up to order for him and his wife, and I'm writing his stuff down while engaging in conversation. He's one of the friendliest regulars we have, and he's always very, very patient when things are busy. I go in and put his order together, ring up his stuff, and go back out to give it to him. We talk for a bit about how business is and how we've held up, and nothing strikes me that I forgot anything. I said it was nice to see him, and we part ways. All is good. 15 minutes later, and it suddenly hits me. I forgot his fucking cookies. He bought a dozen donuts and three dozen cookies, and I only gave him the donuts. I started panicking, and told my co-workers what happened. I felt horrible. We hoped he would come back before the end of the day, but sadly he didn't. We kept his stuff around for a few days, just in case he came back anytime soon. That whole time I didn't hear the end of it from boss about doing that. He and his wife come back a few days later, and I'm apologizing profusely to them. Even after forgetting about his three dozen cookies, he is as polite and friendly as ever. No yelling, no demanding free stuff, no passive aggressive remarks just a class act. We gave him his cookies, and gave him their walk up order on the house. The whole time he's telling me, don't worry bud, I'll put in a good word to Santa Claus so you're not on the naughty list. Great guy all around. 12 slash 10, would serve again. Thank you, next.
Years ago I used to work in a photo printing shop. This was when digital cameras started to become a big deal. We still developed film but not a lot. A family came into the store with their very old grandma. They recently bought a digital camera for her birthday. She wanted to have the photos on her new camera developed. Her grandson asked me to assist them to print the photos. I showed him to the instant photo printer. He was impressed with it since it was still pretty new. He called grandma over telling her about the instant printer and how she doesn't even have to wait for the photos to be developed. She starts freaking out and yelling, no, no, this is the coming of the antichrist. She turned her walker around and slowly rushed out of the shop. Her family tried to stop her but she didn't want anything to do with the evil photo printer. Thank you. Next. Back in the 90s I was working in a small hardware store when two dirty looking guys came in wearing filthy sweaters and jogging pants. Looked like they were homeless and hadn't washed themselves for a week or so. Okay I thought to myself, I have to keep an eye out on these guys but I greeted them nicely and welcomed them to the store asking them if I could be at any assistance. Their reply was that they were just looking around. There were another customer in the store that needed to be checked out so I had to let the guys be and take care of the one that needed my help and they two guys went around the corner of an aisle and out of my sight. When I was taking payment from the other customer we suddenly heard yelling and screaming for one of the dirty guys behind the aisle. He had tried to steal a cordless drill that we had on display and I put it down his jogging pants, holding it with his right hand that were put in the pocket of the said pants. The problem for him and the reason for the scream was that the battery was charged and when he held it he accidentally pressed the button and started the drill to spin. He yanked out a good amount of pubic hair and were laying on the floor screaming with pain. The other customer blocked the door and I called the police who were laughing hard when they heard the story. They arrived in a few minutes and they guys were arrested. It still makes me smile when I think of the incident.